this week's video we're going to connect and set up the Monport GP30 fiber laser. Included is your instruction manual for setting up EasyCAD, a thumb drive that has the EasyCAD software, as well as the configurations for this particular laser. So everything you need comes included. We're going to go ahead and connect our foot switch, our power cable, and our USB cable so that we can get started with installing it. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some of our connections. Uh, the first connection will be our power cord. It's a little bit hidden here, but it's right under the fiber laser port here. We've got that connected. Next is our foot switch. Um, I really enjoy having the foot switch on my other laser. Uh, now the foot switch is the two prong aviation plug. Uh, this one is for your rotary and this is for your ground connection. Uh, I guess you can ground to the cart or whatever you want. Uh, I'm not going to connect that. I didn't connect it in my other laser. I don't know that it's necessary. Uh, this looks like it might. I'll make sure this is in there. Okay. Alright. And then the last thing is just connect our USB. Right here. So now we can apply power and connect this to our laptop. I'm going to lay the uh, foot pedal down here in the bottom for right now. And we'll turn this around and we'll get it connected. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do, we got everything connected and we're going to power the machine on. And we also need to make sure that the e-stop is not pressed. So we're just going to twist it. Now you can hear the laser came on and it is uh, a little bit louder now. See the dots there on the laser. Alright, so we're going to go over to the computer now and we're going to set up our drivers and we're going to get them from our thumb drive. Now, in the manual, it shows you how to install EasyCAD and set it up for EasyCAD. However, I started using Lightburn shortly after the uh, Galbo laser modification came out uh, last year in June, so we're going to be setting it up for Lightburn. So let's go over to the CPU and we'll uh, set this up. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to have to do is load the drivers for your laser. If you don't already own a laser, Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up our folders, our file explorer here. We're going to go to this PC and we're going to right click. We're going to go to manage under system tools. We're going to go to device manager. And then we're going to look for uh, USB LMCV2. It will be under other devices. Now you have to have your USB connected from your laser and your laser powered on. Uh, that's very important. Okay, so you want to check under other devices. It's not there on my PC, so I'm going to look under USB devices. And there you see USB LMCV2. So we're going to right click on that and hit update driver. We're going to browse our computer. We're going to look in our thumb drive here, our USB drive. It's going to be under the software 15 driver and I'm using Windows 11. And it's going to be under the driver, Windows 11, X64 AMD, LMC V2, folder. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click next and it's for me it says the best drivers have already been installed because I already have the drivers for my other laser so for me it's I'm finished but for you 
it will go ahead and load the drivers. Now that we have the drivers loaded, we can go into light burn. I'm going to turn this laser off now. We don't need it on for this particular thing. In light burn, I want to go over to devices. Now this is my original laser. I've already tried to find my laser and it doesn't seem to uh, bring my laser up, but we'll try it again. What it's going to do is it's going to scan for your laser, but as you can see it doesn't bring anything up for me. So we're going to create a manually create our laser. We're going to select a JCZ fiber laser. We're going to click next. Now Monport on our disk because they provide the EasyCAD 2 software. They also provide the EasyCAD configuration and we're just going to simply import that into Lightburn. So we're going to select import EasyCAD. We're going to select on our thumb drive software 15, software 15 again. It's under the plug folder and we're looking for this mark config 7 file. So we're just going to click open. It gives us our configuration. It does say here that it was unable to locate the specified core file. This is our correction file. And so we're going to manually load that later. But so now that we have this information, we're going to just select next. And we need to call this something other than JCZ Fiber. So my original laser is JCZ Fiber 150 by 150 because that was the lens. But we're going to call this one our GP30. And the links in millimeters for X and Y, it's a 150 by 150 lens. So um, I'm guessing that's okay. So that's it. You're done. Here's a summary. And it says that our origin is at the front left. So we're going to click finish. And now you can see we have two lasers here going to click OK. So now we can select this laser or if we're running the other laser, my 20 watt, we can select that one. OK, so now we have the GP30 laser selected. We want to import our correction file. Uh, if you remember when we installed the EasyCAD config file, it said it couldn't pull in our correction file so we need to load that now now what I like to do is I like to take the folder from the thumb drive and move it over into my documents so in my documents I have my laser here and then I just made a folder that says Monport GP30 and then I just copied that software 15 folder over because it has the driver that I need and it also has the EasyCAD mark config file as well as the correction file. So now that I moved that folder over what I'm going to do is to add the correction file there's one of two ways you can get there you can press F3 or you can press this wrench screwdriver button here. Over here where it says Galvo configuration we want to go to load core file and then you can see here this is my documents laser Monport GP30, software 15, software 15, and then here is the JCZ15 core file. Just going to sit open, and then there we go. we've got it there. We're going to click OK. So now that we have that all configured, we can start trying to mark with the laser. So let's pull up uh, an example of something we can do here, some simple text. Something that I've used before here, let's see. So now we have a simple file here with some text. So I just want to select this going to press P to get it right in the center. Um, our width is 71, height is 6. Okay. All right. I'm going to turn the laser on. Now, we can raise 
and lower our head. Now with this button here, it has these three dots. And this is for our focal length, to line up our focal length. And it says it's set from the factory, but we're going to check it. So when all the dots are in the same spot, it should be in focus. Now, from the factory, it says that our focus measuring point is 314 millimeters. So, let me just measure this real quick and see. what we actually have and see if it's close with the dots. So 314 so it's more like two it's more like 248 okay so let's just see what we've got there. So we've got the speed here set at uh, 100. Let's move that to 400. And we'll put the power at say 50. Frequency at 20. Let me just uh, frame this and see what we look like. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and mark this. See what happens. Gonna raise it up a bit while it's marking. Now it's not marking, so we're gonna go down. Alright, I can see it marking now. Oh, there we go. Now it's not marking, so I'm gonna go back up. That's probably right around the sweet spot there now. So you can see we have it marked. All right, not too bad for our first mark. And it looks pretty good. I think the focus length is uh, good on that. So let's measure 
uh, this focus length and see where exactly we are. So the focus length will be from the bottom of the lens to the table here. I'm going to power this off just for a second here. Okay. 240, 241. So, um, turn the laser back on here. And it definitely looks like where they have the three dots marked there is uh, about right. So they did have it set up right. However, I'm not sure what this right here, I'm not sure where this measurement comes from. This 2, 3, 14. But the dots are definitely lined up for the focal point. So that's good. So um, this measurement here corresponds with this seam right here. And that may be inside where the laser actually is coming from. Okay, so let's uh, do some more marking here. I, I'm still a little concerned about the squareness. of this. So I'm going to see if I can tweak this head just a little bit more to get it square. Again, let me get my... get my paper square piece here. Alright, so I know that my now, of course, I'm squaring it off the edge of the enclosure here, so just as a reference. Okay, and there's a couple of little thumb screws underneath here. I'm going to loosen up for the laser because I know that there's a little movement right there as well so I think that kind of got it perfect right there all right that looks a lot better um, just looking at it That looks a lot better right there. Okay, so now that we have that squared up. So after we get our, our focal length set, we can turn the light on the top off. I like to do that so I don't have that light there in the center. And then we're going to mark our first piece here. This is just a small business card. Uh, and we're going to mark at our speed at 1,000 and 80% power. So here we go.
turn that off so we can see and here okay that looks pretty good right there pretty good it's, it still seems a little twisted maybe that's just me all right guys well i guess that'll wrap up the setup video for the monport gp30 fiber laser again i'm using light burn if you use EasyCAD, uh, just follow the instructions in the booklet uh, very straightforward and simple to set up comes with everything you need Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on that subscribe button. Also, click on that notification bell. That way, when I post a new video, if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you like the video.